Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a Leo reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Also, this is for any Leo placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious, there's nothing wrong with that. I am gonna meditate with you guys to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading. So if you're comfortable with me, feel free to breathe in and out. Okay, so let's get started, Leo. Um, I do want to start my readings with like a channel message or with the download that I get um, for each sign. So for you, Leo, um, last week, a lot of my readings, the sun card came out, okay, which represents um, Leo energy as well as strength. The strength card came out a few times, but the sun card, I would say almost every reading that card popped out, which is crazy, okay? So... <sighs> A lot of attention you're getting or it could be um, I feel like that you were in everyone's energy I'm not sure why but I meditated and channel and the vision that I saw Leo um, was cameras like lights like people taking pictures um, there were also like news reporters which is really strange <laughs> sometimes I see really strange things when I channel and then also it was a person throwing a football which is really strange. And it was like, um, it was like a Heisman trophy. Like when you throw the football and it's like, like you have your hand back. I don't know if that makes sense, Leo, but if, in, if anybody's into football, that makes sense. I'm not really a football fan, but that's just the image that I saw. Um, so you could be getting a lot of attention this week or this month. Um, but let's see what comes out for you. Okay. So I'm going to take three cards for your general reading and one card for outcome. So four together, and then we'll take four for the love reading as well. Okay. Okay. So two fell on the floor, Leo. Okay. I'm sorry about that. If it just got quiet all of a sudden. Um, so we'll take these four. Okay. So uh, that was in reverse. That's interesting. Okay. So we have coming out first for you. Um, the magician, number one, Gemini energy, five of swords, which I was just thinking about this card for some reason. Hopefully you guys can see that without a glare. That's going to be air energy. We had the ace of wands come out in reverse. And then we have the knight of swords. Okay. So the magician definitely always means that you are manifesting something or trying to manipulate the elements, okay, for your higher good. I will hope so. Um, also, this could mean that you have a Gemini in your environment, Leo. Um, it could also mean that you could have that in your chart as well too, Leo, okay? With the five of swords, and this is so weird because... When I got the download about um, you guys getting a lot of attention, I thought of this card and the meaning of it, which means that you are resentful, okay? Or you could be having some, some second thoughts about some choices that you made, Leo. And I say that because if you look at this card, he's holding his head. And then also there's a person in the back. So it kind of represents that you're holding on to something from the past that you wish that you would have done differently. If it's not your energy, Leo, then it could be somebody else. Just switch it. If, if you feel like that the energy doesn't match you, then just take it for someone else that you may be encountering right now. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse. Usually this card in the upright, Leo, means that you are... Um, You have some new ideas. You're very creative or your crown chakra is activated. But it's a possibility with it in reverse that you're feeling blocked right now. 
okay so maybe there's some need to focus on some crown chakra meditation leo that's interesting then we have coming out the knight of swords okay so usually this is a hasty decision running towards something or someone or someplace okay also with the motorcycle in front of him i feel like he's trying to catch something or, or you could be feel like that you're trying to catch something that has slipped away from you um, or has gotten out of your reach, if that makes sense. And I never really feel that energy from that card. And that's interesting. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Swords. I said Knight, I meant King. Sorry, Leo. Um, three of Swords, more sword energy. Nine of Swords, okay. And then we have the Knight of Cups, okay. Um, interesting, okay. I feel like that... You want to reconnect with someone. That's that's what I strongly feel. Um, the person could have broken your heart before in the past, Leo, or you could have broken their heart, or it could be mutual. Um, however, it works for you, Leo. That's interesting. Um, also, with the Three of Swords, I feel like that this is a connection that you're trying to heal, or you could be trying to heal from it. You may not want to reconnect with the person, um, but you may just need to heal from it in order to move on okay with that five of swords coming out it's something that you are resentful of it could have been something you did or someone did to you that you have not healed from but leo i'm going to be honest with you with the magician coming out as the first card i feel like that this is someone trying to call another person into their life okay um, that's either you or the other person that you're thinking of, okay? With the King of Swords, you're being very logical, very rational about it. Air energy. So you could have some air in your chart. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? This always gives me like Aquarius vibes. This and the this and the Queen of Swords, okay? Um, so you're taking your time. Um, you're definitely being kept up at night about this, okay? So I feel like strongly feel like Leo that this is your energy okay um I don't feel like that this is something that you're telling most people this is probably something that you're keeping to yourself um but you definitely want to make a move pretty soon with the knight of cups um some type of romantic offer okay um or this also could be talking about um the past experiences you have with the other person, maybe they had player energy or you had player energy and you, and you just weren't ready for a connection. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and you weren't ready for a connection, Leo, um, or the other person, or it could have just been mutual. The time was just not right for you guys. Um, and maybe people, you guys were just playing the field. Okay. You could feel totally different about the person or they could feel totally different about you. Okay. Leo, I feel like that you're a very romantic person so i feel like that it's you that wants to make this romantic offer or gesture to someone okay um and i feel like it is from the past i'm just gonna be honest with you it could be a new person take it how it resonates but just with the five of swords someone is definitely resentful about how something happened in the past okay in the knight of swords and the knight of cups there me it means that there's going to be movement towards something i feel like you feel someone has slept has um slipping slipped away from you that's that's the word i'm looking for but i said slept i don't know why i said that but you feel like someone has slipped away from you leo okay we also have the ace of pentacles in reverse which is usually a offer in um or like you trying to like actually um you trying to like actually manifest uh financial opportunities that's what i'm trying to say leo um but it's in reverse so that's interesting that's interesting um after that we have the two of cups okay so definitely you want a love union or a love reconnection with someone okay um I'm picking up heavily romance, but it could be family, friends, um, something to do with business partners or things like that. Um, the Ace of Cups, I'm so intrigued by that card and it being in reverse. Something stopped growing, a connection, okay? Something stopped growing. And I feel like that this is from the past, Leo. 
that that a connection came to a halt and you're trying to manifest it again to come back into your life with with the ace of pentacles that's what i'm picking up from it leo just looking at it very deep energy i will was that your energy for last reading i think your last reading was courageous love okay a little bit different than the message i got about everybody wants to be a leo and you getting a lot of attention a little different okay let's see what comes out in your um in your love reading for you okay so we'll shift those cards and then we'll take four cards out for your love reading i am gonna do it a little bit differently else i'm gonna do one card for um how how you perceive the person and the other card to be how you perceive them we'll we'll do one card for what their blockage is and one card for your blockage if that makes sense okay so hopefully that'll be a lot more helpful in us reading the energy oh interesting high priest is coming out for how do you perceive the person i think my car is upside down we'll take that one too we'll take that one okay so we have coming out how do you perceive the person or who are you calling in we have the high priestess number two okay so when i see twos and wands in readings it definitely makes me think of like soulmates and twin flames so that could be the journey that you're on Leo. okay that kind of seems similar to the journey you were on in the last reading that we did last week high priestess um you feel like the person is very spiritual um you feel like that the person leads with their heart hmm that's interesting because I feel like Leo's you tend to lead with your heart. You're very passionate, very fiery because you're a fire sign. So you tend to take the initiative in love. You're very upfront about love, which is a beautiful thing. I truly admire that about Leo's. Hmm. Okay. And then how does the person perceive you, Leo? Ten of Wands. Um they perceive you as walking away, okay? Also, these energies could be vice versa, like I said, okay? So you could you could be perceiving the person as walking away or have walked away from you in the past, okay? But Ten of Wands, their, their emotions and perceptions of things could be to walk away from you. And that's something that they could have done in the past, Leo, okay? Or vice versa. But I feel like Leos are very dedicated to love. And, and when they have their heart set on someone, I feel like it's very harder for them to walk away from people. Just an, just an opinion. That's just how I personally feel. Um, so I feel like that this person walked away from you. Hmm. But I'm not sure why they felt that, that it was a need for you to end things. Because you thought very highly of them. You found them very spiritual, okay? But we did have the Knight of Cups come on. Like I said, that could be player energy. So that could have been a little bit of you guys' demise. That's the word I'm he I'm hearing. A very heavy word. But that could have been your demise to the relationship, Leo. What's coming in for your emotional blockage is five of wands. Okay, so competition. Um, competition leveling up that could be that that um, channeling message that I got and everybody wants to be a Leo at the five of wands um, just getting a lot of attention when I when I get this card in love readings it, it gives me the energy that someone's getting a lot of attention and your partner or people in your environment are very jealous of the energy that you're getting or the attention I should say Hmm. But but the thing is, that's in your emotional blockage. Hmm. So maybe you were getting a lot of attention from other people or you felt that that the other person that you were dealing with was getting a lot of attention from other people and weren't loyal and dedicated to you. But that ties into your channel message, Leo. So I feel like that you are getting a lot of attention 
when you were in this bond or connecting with this person and the person did not like it. And you're probably still getting a lot of attention because um, that's just being a Leo, honestly, okay? Which is a beautiful thing about being a Leo. That's interesting energy. It feels like it's flopping. So I don't know if that's mutual energy, that it was a very jealous energy or a very jealous spirit within the connection between just the both of you guys. Um, and it led to a lot of mistrust within the connection. Okay. What is in the, the, your person's blockage, um, emotional blockage justice. Um, hmm. they're unbalanced. I'm not sure if they want to balance out things with you, Leo. That's kind of what I'm taking from it. That's the energy I feel, unfortunately. Or they could need some balance themselves to balance light and darkness within themselves. This might have been a healthy connection. I'm not sure. It seems like it was kind of rocky, kind of up and down for you guys, Leo. This is going to sound interesting. I know I don't have any cards on the table that represents this, but personally, intuitively, Leo, I feel like that this is something that you can work out. Um, and it has some, it has the ability to grow and prosper and be something very beautiful. I feel like you guys just had a very rocky start, um, a very immature bond, um, or a, an immature connection and that could be a little bit of lack of wisdom and being youthful or it could literally mean that it was short-lived okay um and it has never really got off the ground as you hoped it would or ha or or just as the other person hoped it would leo if that makes sense at the bottom of the deck we have four wands okay so you could read this as it's four, break it down two, break it down one. Okay, so like I said, again, that's the two and the one. So twin flame um, or soulmate energy. Um, this could also mean that you want marriage with the person or you want a higher level of commitment. That looks like a lot of different things to different people. Okay, so take the how it resonates. We have the eight of swords in reverse. So that makes me think that you are no longer feeling bounded. Okay, so you definitely want to make a decision to go towards someone and move things forward. Um, or that could be how the other person is thinking about you. Okay, page of swords in reverse. Interesting. In love, this usually represents to me just how I read it that you are getting to know someone okay or you are curious about someone but it's in reverse so that could just mean that you've already made a choice or you have gathered all of the information you needed to okay and last but not least the six of cups okay hopefully you guys can see that this means that this is definitely someone from the past that literally is what the card means okay um you could be reminiscing about the past or reflecting on your childhood this could be someone you know from your childhood um but it's definitely a card that represents literally past energy okay and this is six of cups so kip six of cups excuse me leo so this is definitely someone from the past okay seven of cups um seven of swords excuse me um something is definitely being hidden there definitely was a form of deception deception that's the word i'm looking for um in the past or it could be currently take it how it resonates with you but that's kind of what the energy i was picking up on that you guys it was a lot of mistrust okay and that kind of ended the ended the connection death and rebirth in reverse okay so it could be a scorpio but it's in reverse so it definitely came to an end with the scorpio for sure the star car aquarius energy um you do want wish fulfillment definitely you definitely want dreams to come true um leo with that car and then eight of pentacles you want to put in the work now you want six of pentacles you want equal give and take okay or this could be how the other person feels leo okay interesting energy i will say very it's different for me to read for this week, okay? Um, I am gonna take a lesson card um, or advice. It depends on how it resonates for you, Leo. Um, and then we'll go ahead and end the reading, okay? I feel like that we have 
said enough for today, okay? Um, if this resonated with you, definitely let me know in the comment section below, okay? One card, okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense, the energy I was picking up. It says envy. Okay, so it says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. That is very deep, Leo, you know, very deep, okay? So definitely some envy and jealousy within this connection, okay? But I feel like you have matured or the other person has matured or both of you guys have matured. Um, and it's a strong possibility, I feel it intuitively, um, Leo, that if you want to move towards this person, I definitely think that it, it's possible for you guys to reconnect and heal things, okay? Or in vice versa, if the person wants to come towards you because the message was that you were getting a lot of attention, okay? And everyone, everybody wanted to be a Leo or be around the Leo, okay? So I want to leave it there, Leo. Um, I would truly appreciate it. Like I said earlier, if you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you have not heard this today, Leo, you are cherished and you are loved, okay? Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.